continue our team coverage now with CBS4 anchor Elliot Rodriguez. He joins us from the control room with a focus on other featured speakers tonight. Elliot. Ruta Bay, the third night of the convention focused on gun violence, climate change, and the differences between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump on those issues. There were also two blistering attacks on Trump, one of them from the former mayor of New York City, the other from Vice President Joe Biden. He has no clue about what makes America great. Actually, he has no clue, period. Biden's speech was marked by chants of not a clue from the delegates. Okay. No major party nominee in the history of this nation has ever known less or has been less prepared to deal with our national security. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg, an independent, called Trump a lousy businessman. I'm a New Yorker. And I know a con when I see one. I built a business, and I didn't start it with a million-dollar check from my father. Earlier, Democrats focused on climate change and the danger cities like Miami are facing. The sea level is going to rise, and Miami won't be here when it rises. Donald Trump, Democrats say, will do nothing about a potential ecological disaster. Somber moments followed when the theme turned to gun violence, and the mother of an Orlando pulse shooting victim took the stage. The weapon that murdered my son fires 30 rounds in one minute. One minute for a gun to fire so many shots. Five minutes for a bell to honor so many lives. The delegates heard from the daughter of the principal at Sandy Hook Elementary, survivors of the Charleston Church Massacre, and former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. Strong women get things done. That woman, she said, is Hillary Clinton. Later, a kumbaya moment when stars of Broadway delivered this message. Well, despite that message, there was no love for Donald Trump or his policies. Tonight, he was called a dangerous demagogue who will make America a more dangerous place. In the control room, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS 4 News. Elliot, thank you.